About a decade ago, the country amended the banking laws to allow Islamic banks to operate. This paved the way for the central bank to license two Sharia-compliant banks in 2007. Since then, Islamic finance has slowly been taking root. And now players say their services are attracting more than Muslim customers as compared to Muslims. It oscillates between 48% to 52%. At some times, we have what more than Muslims than Muslims. Sometimes we have more Muslims than them. So it's between 48 to 50% of our membership. And Muslims, and they are very, very happy with our, with our services. Crescent Takaful Sako CEO Anton Wambura says the Islamic finance services landscape is slowly entrenching itself in the Kenyan market, with key investors setting up Sharia compliant commercial banks, fund managers, insurance, pension scheme, and SACOs. It's basically, the Islamic finance is reaching now uh, a level of maturity. Uh, first and foremost, virtually all the players are there. Uh, they are uh, Islamic commercial banks, they are um, Islamic windows, they are uh, fund managers, Islamic fund managers, there's an Islamic insurer, there's an Islamic pension scheme, and now there's also uh, a Sharia compliant cooperative. The proposition guiding and regulating Islamic financing on matters such as interest or profit is making it very attractive for both non-Muslims and Muslims, as Kenya Bankers Association Director for Research Jared Osoro explains. Islamic banking is one of those growth areas and that's why we are seeing it uh, uh, picking up very fast. We are not only seeing uh, fully fledged Islamic banking institutions coming up in the market, but you are seeing already the conventional banks that are over the typical fund banking products offering Islamic windows and therefore availing those services across the, across, across the board. For us, the profit is already defined. It's 100,000. That's what we are supposed to pay back. It's only 100,000. So even if you fall sick, we'll be able to give you time to be able to repay that money. And that, it is not adding. But is Islamic financing all rosy? The legal framework uh, of Kenya, as probably as, you, as was mentioned yesterday, is not really uh, very supportive of Islamic finance. You find that even when you want to do investment, we, are, we have certain restrictions that uh, makes us not uh, be able to do business properly because the conventional, our laws are still conventional yet. So we are trying to put a, a square peg in a, in a round hole, you know. We are trying to do Islamic finance using conventional rules, so that's also a challenge. Zainab Mohammed for Channel One Business.